frustrated but once I keep on at it I find that the final product generally comes out really well I would say that there is not a well visible market or niche however once you decide that you want to pursue fine arts after college, I would say to work on a portfolio and build up yourself and your work so that you'll be able to create your own niche even if you can't find a particular niche to fit in afterwards. Yes, ideally I would like to pursue a bachelor's Right now, I am leaning towards graphic arts, but as you can see, I like fine arts a lot as well. My pieces are basically examining the relationships between the youth and elderly women in Barbados and I am juxtaposing the struggles, challenges that these women would face and I'm also examining the gender roles that these women would face. The, the process was a bit challenging because my background would be in research so I took a very experimental approach to my pieces so initially I would have carried out interviews and I would not have first received the responses I wanted so I tweaked them a bit and then I was able to gather more information that has put me in this path that I am generally on. The first piece of advice I would like to give to prospective students who are interested in doing the program would be to be prepared to work. If you are interested in doing an easy degree, this is not the degree for you. You have to come in with the mindset that you are going to work and you are going to plan how to work. because. There are a lot, a lot of areas that you need to cover and you need to make sure that you practice all of these areas. The second piece of advice I would like to give is that you should be prepared to present your work. 
if you are interested in pursuing art full time after you leave college, you have to be able to speak to prospective buyers or anyone interested who wants to see your work. You have to be able to promote yourself and your work properly. Lastly, I would say to build your portfolio and to practice. It's very important that you practice all the concepts that you would learn throughout the program. Yes, I would definitely say that social media is very important. You should create an IG, that's where most of the people are at now. Create an IG and post your work. You can even get a website if you have more training or knowledge in that area. You can create a YouTube channel. Just find ways that are going to be very helpful in terms of promoting your work and letting people know that you exist and your work exists. Thank you.